We're just Oh my gosh! Oh no! Welcome back guys. Today we're doing some more roads online. You'll notice I don't have well there's snow in the air and there's no snow on the tracks. That's because I am still using the old track before this flying update that I previously placed. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job on it, so in my opinion, there's no need to really redo it. Well, I might redo a, the sawmill section over here, but um, but we're going to go to the coal mine today, and we're going to be placing these telegraph booths along the way. They're nifty little things where uh, you can basically teleport to different locations on the map where you never used to be able to do that before. So anyways, we got a good sized train today. Um, let me go ahead and count how many rail cars there are. All right, so I've counted everything. We got 39 rail cars with us today. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing moving. Go ahead and get this thing moving. Just make sure that we got all of the rail cars that we have. Uh, Hooked up, moving the yeah, Looks like we got everything going through the trees right now. We'll go ahead and hop back on the train and get it going down the grade. Now the physics have been done a little differently than in previous versions. Apparently, you can go fast enough where you can derail uh, rail cars around corners if you go too quickly. So we're gonna try to make sure that doesn't happen again. I've never operate a train this big since uh, they got the uh, little speed performance boost. We're just going to go ahead and make sure we go nice and easy along the tracks here. Alright, switch tracks are good to go. Um, looks like we're, we're using the same model of switch tracks. Um, so the switch tracks do have snow on them, surprisingly. Alright, let's go ahead and run back to uh, our rear locomotive, we're going to go ahead and start applying some brakes. I do like leaving the uh, throttle on the uh, locomotive, actually I should probably do that with the rear locomotive rather than the front, that way the front doesn't break away and run away down the grade. I don't want to go too slow because I trust my track building skills. Oh yeah, that's the loop that I have, um, just for uh, going down the grade a little easier. This thing's really picking up speed now. Hopefully one locomotive will have enough to uh, slow the train down enough. Otherwise I may need to get on another one. Because we're like only maybe a little bit more than half of the train is down the grade. It's coming, starting down the grade at this point. The flat the flat cars are just making their way down the grade, and that's going to be the uh, end of our train up there. There we go, look at that. Yeah, we're going to end up applying a little bit more brake. I can see the rear of our train and the front of our train at the same time. One locomotive had 100% brake, and the other locomotive had about 50. That's about what we want. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and set the switch. This switch will take us on the track heading over to the coal mine. So far, everything seems to be in order. Run back to our other engine, because we are going to be starting up a grade, so we're going to want to take our brakes off pretty soon. Yep, everything seems to be going okay. Alright, I'm bailing off with the brakes right now. Uh, take that back. 
Now, I think the uh, switch tracks did get an update. I want to take it nice and easy first. Um, actually, we'll stop our train real quick. I'm going to go ahead and place down a telegraph office um, real quickly because this little junction is kind of at an Im important area and I want to have access to these switches when I need. All right, that'll do it. All right, break off. Let's go ahead and start giving a little bit of throttle. Right, looks like the back of a train is starting to move. 100% throttle. We'll start giving these other engines some power too. Oh. Please no! Oh no. No! That's not good. <laughs> that. Okay. Uh, apparently. We do need to switch the switch tracks. Alright, we're back on track. And uh, I know not to trust switch tracks anymore, so let's go ahead and continue what we were doing. And uh, get started. We're going to go to the next junction. It'll be the split that goes to the iron mine. Go. And 100% throttle. So our next junction is just before the top of the grade here. Yeah, I wish we could name these uh, telegraph booths, but at least at the moment, we're kind of limited to what we can do. After all, it is early access, so I don't expect everything to be completely perfect. We're going to get our train past the top of the grade here. It's right about on this corner. Matter of fact, you could almost see it in the track of uh, where the top of the grade is. I'm going to start slowing down a little bit now. Yeah, it was the entrance to this double track section is where I was gonna put the where I'm gonna put the other one. I think that's a pretty good platform right there. It'd be nice that we if we could like just place some decorations along our track for scenery. Um I mean, that would be pretty cool. Alright, and away we go. Look at that. Got a whole train in there. It's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. One last bridge, and we're going to be starting up a uh, pretty steep grade after this corner. I want to go ahead and make sure we have enough wood. Yep, here comes the, uh, the start of a very steep grade coming up the hill. So we'll start powering this last engine up. I'm going to be getting pretty good at hopping these from locomotive to locomotive by myself. Oh, we're starting to slow down a bit. Come on, train, go! You can do this. I believe in you. Look at that. Sneaking around the corners. Alright, now the top of the grade has come up around this last corner. We're going to be going downhill. I don't know why the river goes up and down hills, but uh, it does apparently in this map. 
and I'm going to start letting off some throttle because uh, we are starting to crest the grade right now. Alright, we have all but one engine going now. Yeah, we are definitely going downhill now. It's about, I want to say a 2.5% grade, 2% grade, something like that. I can't remember exactly what I have, but I try not to make my track any steeper than 3. You know, the trick is just make the corners as smooth as possible. Oh yeah, you can hear yourselves picking up speed now. Go ahead and throttle off a tad. The end of the double track is coming up. I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, telegraph booth at the end here as well. Alright, we are going to start powering up the grade now, so we're going to want to ease this train up to speed and then just get all of our engines at full throttle because uh, we've got a steep grade to climb up to the coal mine, which is actually kind of way up there right now. I'm going to wait a little bit till we get the third one up. Once I hear it start slowing down, I'm going to add some power. Alright, let's go ahead and give a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a loud beast heading up the hill right now. Three engines, full throttle, with 39 cars, heading up to the coal mine. You can see the track above us right now, and only try to put bridges when necessary. I think we're going plenty fast, we can cut down to about 50% throttle on this lead engine. Yeah, we want to go around these corners and across these bridges up here safely. Since they're not quite the high speed racetrack that uh, down below was. Look at that, coming around, going around a horseshoe curve. Looks like everything's okay so far. It's almost like two engines could lead it up this hill. I'm actually completely powered off on the first one. Alright, here we go. Across one of the biggest bridges on the line. And, uh... It's, uh... Quite the doozy. Going around this, uh... Horseshoe curve. Uh-oh. We have an issue. Something bad happened around, uh, oh, just before that horseshoe curve way on the other side of the valley. I'm actually going to run down there and see what's going on, because we lost some flat cars, it looks like. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I found them. Time to start applying some handbrakes. We'll get enough handbrakes on here to... Stop. We'll go ahead and walk the line up there and to kind of see what exactly the problem was. I'm looking around for any rail cars, but yeah, it looks like uh, we just broke a link. The one thing I don't like about backing up a train this long is going around a blind corner and not being able to see what's on the other side. The beauty of having this horseshoe curve is we can actually see how close we are to the rest of the cars that we're coupling into. And about three feet. And looks like that'll do it. This is going to be a very, very slow and steady start. That started very fast. <laughs> a little quicker than I was... Kind of expecting. 
Now it's interesting that it was the last couple of cars that uh, the couplers had broke on. Normally it would be the first couple, but you know, I guess things happen. Alright, around in the tight corner that those couplers broke on. Oh, it's starting to struggle a bit. I may need to get that third engine in the front up and going at full throttle. Oh my gosh! Oh no! <laughs> well, everything's gonna be going quick now. <laughs> What a physics explosion. Well, apparently the game did not like that. <laughs> um, I've never had that happen before. The good news is... It looks like everything is stopped at the moment. Yeah, that... Uh, <laughs> that, that wasn't good. <laughs> at least we can go throw on some handbrakes before things start running away. Alright, so I'm gonna need to count some count some rail cars now, make sure we have everything accounted for. One, two, three. Okay, yes, yeah, so all the rail cars are accounted for, just I need to re-rail three of them. Alright, where's the handbrake for this one? Is it jammed inside the other car? Of course it is. Okay, so, what our plan is, we're going to couple to these hopper cars really carefully, and then we're going to leave the flat cars there, just parked on the grade. I'm going to take the hopper cars just by themselves to the uh, top. We'll go ahead and retrieve the flat cars later. Apparently there is a physics issue that needs to be fixed, or I'm just going to have to redo that corner, which that might be the case. This train is so long it's hard to see where they're going to couple, I just need to feel... Oh, there it is. Feel where it is coupling. Alright, we are going to be taking our brakes off. Alright, and here we go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We got this. I have faith in you. Please don't do another physics explosion again. Now, normally I would have loaded cars up towards the front. 84% one engine, 100% another. Last one is on 0%. And it looks like... We have everything by the looks of it. Alright, we're going to have a sharp corner coming up. Because this corner right here is a sharp one. Alright, throttling off there. I'm going to walk our way back to the last engine. Where we will start to throttle off here as well. Okay, well, alright, we are coasting to a stop. And... That ought to do it right there. Before I forget, obviously we gotta put another one of these here.